Hello everyone, Dan from BMW Sudbury here again, and in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the all new 2022 BMW i4 M50. So this particular one is in Portimao Blue. It's a little color shared with 3 Series, other 4 Series models, 2 Series, definitely a nice blue on the M Sport and M Performance cars. Also have our cerium gray accents here along the front, just like even an M440 or M340 would, standard. That can be blacked out if you get the shadow line package. And we have our LED headlights, these are the standard headlights. There is a uh, laser light option available as well, to give you those blue accents in there. And then a slightly different uh, design on the daytime running lamps. Come around the front. Have that same grill, uh, at least the shape, overall shape, uh, shared with the regular 4 Series. But then of course, about two thirds of it is kind of blocked off since this is just an electric car. And we have our M badge there on the grill as well. And we have some openings down here. It's actually some uh, flaps that can open and close down there as well. And of course you have the blue accent. Uh, around the BMW roundel on the front, signifying this is a electrified BMW model. This one has the 19 inch wheels. This one has all season tires. You can get performance tires as well, and you can get a 20 inch wheel option as well. The 20 inch wheels do uh, lower the range in the vehicle quite a bit. You actually lose about 50 miles of range with those 20 inch wheels, so. Uh, about 230 miles with 20 inch wheels, give or take, and then about 270 miles uh, with the 19 inch wheels. And of course, that's all depending on driving conditions, temperature, uh, temperature, things like that. That can vary quite a bit. So we have our cerium gray mirror caps, which are the M style with those kind of two, two prongs on the uh, mirrors. You do this kind of going towards that on many of the even just M performance cars now. Is there a camera there for surround 3D surround view? Oh, our newer style door handles of course like um, the uh, regular 4 series Grand Coupe and the 2 series Coupe. And coming along the back you know the overall body shell is exactly the same as a 4 series Grand Coupe. So same near the same tail lights. Of course we have our i4 badge as well as our M50 badge on the other side. And the blue accent on the round dial on the back. And we have a specific rear diffuser on the i4, since there are no exhausts. So that's unique to the i4. Take a look at that. Cool. So, we'll take a quick look at the window sticker. So 2022 i4 M50, and you can see 19 inch wheels. Portimao Blue, this one has a Cognac Sensatec. It's a parking assistance package, premium package. All your standard equipment. This one does have the head up display, it's $1,000. So total MSRP in this one, $70,095. Do you rate it at 96 MPGE? And there's your 270 miles of range uh, rated by the EPA. And of course that can vary uh, on conditions. And what's cool about the i4, you still can open the hood, unlike the iX. So it's really just a, a plastic engine cover. You know, this is an electric motor under there. Nothing, nothing too crazy under the hood. No uh, frunk as they have on Teslas. So a nice M engine cover. Let's take a look at the interior. This one has the Cognac perforated Sensatec. This is our M Sport steering wheel. So this one even has the M design, the opening down there, and then the M colored stitching on the inside of the rim of the steering wheel. And we can see our displays for our iDrive 8 system. So 
that's standard on every i4, even the, the uh, E Drive 40. Go ahead and close the door. And we'll activate everything. And we can see the gauge cluster, what that looks like. So it's iDrive 8, the latest version of BMW's operating system of iDrive. Not crazily different than uh, you know, from iDrive 7, but uh, yeah, just a nice, a nice update. And everything going forward will have this, like the new 7 series, the new X1 that's coming out. Those are all going to have iDrive 8. So other than that, the screen and this uh, center stack uh, portion, the interior is really the same as a 4 Series Grand Coupe. You know, down here you're just missing the climate controls. Most of those are housed in the screen up here. And they just have the front and rear defrost uh, down here. And come down the center console, we have the same style shifter. Fashion control buttons for our cameras so we can get to our cameras. There's our rear camera, our top down view, and get to our 3D view as well. You can rotate around the vehicle. So it's always a cool feature. And we have our drive mode selectors. So we have, of course, the car's going to default to comfort every time. We can go to sport. So we have sport, sport individual. Actually, we're already in Sport Boost. Then we have Sport Boost. So that's going to be maximum uh, performance on the i4. Uh, it's very, very quick. <laughs> so we'll go buttons down there. And can check out the back seat. So this is a typical 4 Series Grand Coupe in the back seat. Nothing too crazy. It's our standard moonroof. In the middle there, we have. Uh, fold down for armrests with cup holders. And the seats can fold down just like a regular 4 Series Grand Coupe as well. And take a look in the cargo area. Yeah, same amount of space as a regular 4 Grand Coupe. There's our kind of built in privacy shade that connects with this piece up here so no one can look in the back window. And this is the flexible fast charger that comes with the vehicle. There's actually the uh, 240 adapter. There's a uh, 120 adapter in the box. So on using this charger, if you're using the 240 uh, adapter with a 240 plug, of course, charging times can be around 10 to 11 hours. Um, if you're using the 120, you're looking even close to about 100 hours. It's pretty pretty slow on the uh, on the 110 outlet but uh, not a lot of power flowing through a 110 outlet anyway. So you definitely want to use that 240 volt or finally got a, a nice level two charger, um, you know, the public charging station to charge the vehicle. And we've got the same controls up here as a regular four series. And then here, of course, instead of it being a fuel fill, we have our charging ports. So we have our AC, so that's for your level one and level two. And then your level three DC fast charger, you use actually the whole thing. So you use both portions. It's just like one big plug. And we're using the DC fast charger. You can actually get a about 80% charge in about 30 minutes or so, 30 to 40 minutes. And those chargers are becoming more and more common now as well, which is nice. And then performance, the i4 M50 is 536 horsepower, 586 pounds of torque. BMW claims a 0 to 60 of around 3.7 seconds, but uh, I'm sure it could even go a little faster than that. They usually underrate uh, their vehicles. So definitely a new era, a new chapter in BMW's history, at least along with the iX. And it's really cool to see. So if you have any further questions on the i4 or any other BMW for that matter, Feel free to leave a comment down below and we'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks. See you in the next one.